Hello and welcome back to another video from Hill and Valley. This is our Think Tank Studio Manager 50. And the other day we were out on a shoot with it and we realized we haven't really made an in-depth video about it, even though we've had it for about four or five years and we use it all of the time. I know we've given our cart quite a bit of attention because it's kind of the ideal situation. If we can go out and bring our cart, we can pretty much bring everything we want and then some, but sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes we have to bring just the essentials, whether it's because we're traveling a long distance from our van or we can't bring a lot of stuff because it's a smaller crew or we just don't wanna be as intrusive as we normally are. This is kind of the ideal bag for that because we can bring most everything we need without having to worry about if a cart's gonna fit in the elevator, how are we gonna get it in the van? The reason we love it is because it can bring all of the essentials. We can fit two, maybe three lights in there and about three to four stands, depending on if they're C stands or light stands, as well as maybe a camera system, a gimbal, um, and then any extra like small grip equipment, not really like our crates of equipment, but we'll have like an extra extension cord, extra gaff tape, extra knuckle. But for a lot of our run and gun or more of like, whether it's one or two people crew shoots when we're doing interviews, this allows us to bring everything we need for that sort of circumstance without having to go overboard. So you can see in here now, we have about eight compartments. The first main one is this big long one in the back where we'll fit C-stands and that's pretty much the whole reason we bought this one is because it can hold up to a 40 inch C-stand. Um, so right now you can see we have our two foot tube lights which we'll usually bring to do um, an interview. We'll use as like a hair light but then we'll also use these as like a walk around light when we're shooting B-roll because they are battery powered. And then we can also fit a normal light stand which is great for something like the tube lights or even our boom mic if we need to boom audio and we want to set our boom on a stand. And then we also even have a C-stand in here. This is a full-size C-stand. And like I mentioned earlier, you can fit like two to three of these in here, but it really depends on the job because it gets really heavy really fast. And that's one thing I've been really impressed with about this bag, just how durable it's been. Even though we fit probably over 50 pounds of gear in here and had to drag it through locations, whether it's a hospital or an office building, we're able to bring all of that gear and the bags been able to hold up over the test of time and all of the use and abuse we've put it through. So then we also have our C-stand legs. Um, we buy the C-stands that are able to detach from the base. So that way we can fit multiple, I think we fit up to three bases in here as well. And then typically we would bring at least one, if not two, 300 or 500 watt lights, depending on the situation. Um, the 300 watt lights we have have a ballast as well. So we'll usually bring the head and put that guy up here. And then we'll also have the ballast down here and we can fit multiple of these ballasts in this compartment. So if we're bringing um, two 300 watt lights, we can fit both ballasts in that compartment. If we're not bringing any other bags like our doctor's bags or a backpack, we'll usually store our camera in here. So right now we have an A7S with a 24 to 70 in there and that's just in a lens wrap. So we can kind of compartmentalize things, but also keep it protected. But we've even put our FX9 and all of our FX9 accessories in here. So it really depends on the shoot and what we're prioritizing. Next you'll see we have our gimbal in here, which is nice because after we shoot our interview or whatever we're doing, we can still bring our B-roll setup to get other shots that aren't on a tripod. So typically when we're using this bag alone, the only other things we'll have to carry are our tripods and our light modifiers. We even have in here extra extension cables, extra gaff tape a reflector. So yeah, really anything you could need in like an interview lighting setup or like a basic three point lighting setup. You also have up top here, all of these different little zipper pouches in this mesh compartment. So even if you are bringing your camera in this bag, you can still keep your accessories organized. So like up here, we have our ND filters, our memory card case, extra batteries in here. And then down here, we'd usually keep any extra cables for our lights. And even if we're shooting like a quick interview, we could keep bring our wireless labs and keep them in here or like a shotgun microphone. And then the last pocket we have on here is this giant top pocket, which it's not very deep, but it is very wide. So sometimes we'll fit a things like our boom pole in here. Um, but right now we have a 52 inch five in one reflector and a slate.
But the thing we're most impressed with this is its durability. So not only is it super convenient to use, but we've been using it for four years and we've really been beating it and uh, putting a lot of weight in here and a lot of expensive equipment. And it's been really nice to know that this thing's always gonna keep our gear safe and we're going to be able to use it for much longer. The material it's made out of is very durable and tough, hasn't torn anywhere, nothing's poked through, um, and especially this main zipper, we've definitely overpacked it quite a bit and still been able to close the zipper without the zipper breaking, which is one of my biggest qualms with a lot of backpacks and other bags is once the zipper breaks, it's kind of useless, it's hard to replace. Um, it also has these nice feet on the bottom, so if you're standing and waiting for other people to unload, you can rest the bag vertically and that way it's taking up less space and it's more visible so nobody's going to run into it. And another thing I really love about this bag is that it has two rails on the bottom, so if you're getting it in and out of a vehicle, it will easily slide and not damage your vehicle. My only qualm with the bag, and this isn't really a knock on the bag as a whole, it's more so just things that we've experienced um, and we could probably fix this a little bit but the way that we have it set up when we put more than two C stands in here all of the weights on one side uh, so when you and uh, whoever's helping you go to lift it from either end it'll start to roll and that only really becomes a problem when you're loading it in and out of a vehicle um, but it's definitely something I've noticed and it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to transport but not a huge deal at all I'm still very impressed that it can hold that weight to begin with. It also comes with a really nice big rain cover, which we've never had to use, and we have used it in pretty inclement weather. Uh, but most of the time for us, we're just moving from the car to inside. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. We love this bag and I really recommend it for anybody who's either in a smaller crew and wants to bring all of their essential equipment with them, multiple lights, multiple stands, cameras, and you don't have a huge crew to help you transport stuff. Or even if you are working in a big crew and you just have a couple of larger items like stands that you wanna transport, I think this bag would be a great option for that. But thank you so much for checking out this video. Please leave us a comment if you have any questions about it and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.